And let your eyes close or look gently down in front of you. And you can bring your attention now to the sound of the bell. We see um, different versions of kids under stress. You know, kids who come from families where there might be somewhat chaos in the home or lack of services, resources, those kinds of things. We also have kids who are academically high who um, self-impose stress sometimes or they're involved in lots of activities and so they, um, it's sort of a generation of stress, I think. and. Um, we see the need academically and you know, emotionally for our kids to be able to uh, regulate their emotions, be aware of their emotions, and then be able to then use that energy to focus on schoolwork while they're here. And so um, we researched this with Dr. Montnamy about what, what could this, how could this help. And he was very clear that this could be a, um, a skill that kids can be taught and that they can learn to self-regulate and that teachers can be, then be uh, a resource for them to help them self-regulate. And so we brought Dr. Montnamy in to work with um, three classrooms. He spent eight weeks coming in for 15 minute periods of time and teaching them a skill, which they practiced until he came back. And then um, he would talk them through how they were using it at home, how they were using it at school, and teach them a new skill until they had a whole repertoire of skills um, to use for mindfulness. When we have kids who are dysregulated, who can't focus their attention or calm their intense emotions, anxiety or anger or frustration, um, mindfulness is really the gateway skill, as I call it, or the a portal in to beginning to be able to better regulate your attention and your emotions. In my room, we do a lot of when we come back from our lunch and our recess time, the kids are a little crazy. And we sit down, we do some mindfulness and some mindfulness breathing, just to calm their breathing, calm themselves and calm their thinking. And when we finish our exercise, the kids are much calmer and they're ready to learn. They've settled their thoughts, they've settled their breathing, they've settled their bodies, and they're in a much better position to begin learning for the afternoon. It has been tremendous in things from kids using, talking about using it for schoolwork, test taking, just paying attention if they find themselves drifting off, how can you bring yourself back? Some kids who have had behavior issues and show up in my office um, have asked um, me to do mindfulness with them to kind of calm down so that we can discuss things more rationally. When I'm doing a test, I'm kind of shaky, kind of nervous, but then I just use a belly, then I use my belly breathing. Mindfulness at school is like when I get mad at my friends, um, I try, I like, I feel like I'm going to do something to them and then I do belly breathing. I've definitely seen an improvement in their test taking skills. When they are stressed during the test, they will stop and they will take some mindful breaths and calm themselves and take that stress away and realize that it's just a test, but I'm going to focus on this. I'm not going to listen to the noise outside. I'm not focused on the kids in the hallway. My focus is on my test and they've done a really good job. I can really see a definite difference in their, in their behaviors and their test scores.